In this episode of the King Snow What's Good product review, we are looking at the 2023 Flow NX2 TM binding. The NX2 TM is a stripped down version of Flow's best selling model that's tough, light, and super versatile. It features an aluminum base plate with rounded corners, allowing your board to flex naturally while developing instant power transfer. The new slip and grip plate allows your forefoot to easily slide in and out of the binding without compromising the underfoot comfort of the 2.5 degree canted bank beds. The XO frame fusion power straps offer powerful top down foot hold and set it and forget convenience. It also comes with active strap tech to keep them out of the way when the high back is reclined. Here's what our tester had to say about the 2023 Flow NX2 TM binding. Hey, I'm John, living in Whistler for the last 15 years and snowboarding for 15, 16 years. And we're gonna showcase snowboards. I like the snowboard, look at everything. Park, powder, wherever is good snow, you'll find me. So first impressions, pulling this out of the box. Um, the binding looks pretty clean for a re-entry binding. Um, you can see it's kind of evolved a little bit from the flow bindings of the past. Uh, fairly lightweight, and they got an injected rubber strap on the front there, so keeping things very comfortable on the boot. And um, aluminum base tray, it's a nice bit of padding, a bit of canting on there too, you can see. Overall, looks-wise, it's a nice clean-looking binding too. You kind of have like a marble camo on the padding and kind of like a subtle black on the back. So just a clean, solid-looking binding. So if you haven't used a rear entry binding or flow bindings before, they're a little different than traditional style. You get in at the back, so you flip down a little lever here, the whole high back folds down, you're able to slide your foot in quite easily, which is nice, it's convenient, easy to use, and very quick as well, because you're not ratcheting down. The thing that's nice about these bindings as well, though, is you still have traditional ratchets on the side, so if you want to make micro adjustments, um, you can still do that while you're riding. So overall, when I strapped in this binding, uh, I noticed that it just felt like a normal binding, which is good. It wasn't too stiff, it wasn't too soft, it was kind of just right down the middle, kind of medium. Um, the straps on the front were very supportive. Uh, in terms of response, this binding was great. felt like it had an, a nice amount of control when you're going heel to toe. It wasn't overly stiff laterally either, which you can find sometimes with bindings. So overall impression of this binding, um, found it to be just a nice normal feeling binding. Not too stiff, not too soft, it's kind of medium, good all mountain binding. Overall, it just felt like a solid binding. This binding is great for anybody who's in and out of their bindings a lot. If you're doing lots of hot laps, somewhere where you're riding a small mountain, you're off the chair quite a bit, you're gonna be able to get in and out of this pretty quickly. Or if you just want something that's a great all round binding, so riding to Powell, Park, wherever, um, it's gonna be a nice couple of bindings to ride. 